An emotional ending, 26.2 miles in the making. With her NYPD family by her side, Lisa Tuzolo crossed the New York City Marathon finish line. What was that moment like when all of your friends, all of your family swarmed you to cross the finish line? It's beautiful. I just wish there was one more person here with me to do that. Running in memory of her husband, Sergeant Paul Tuzolo, who died in the line of duty three years ago. I'm sure Paul would be proud immensely. I know that he would be laughing at me a little because I'm wobbling and hobbling now. At each mile of the race, her husband's colleagues joined her. They'd promised to help her and her two boys honor all their family milestones, like they did two years ago when her oldest son, Austin, started kindergarten. Alongside him, 30 officers in blue, taking him to the school bus. And Sunday was no different. I would not 100% have gotten through it without them. Those officers, now family for Lisa and the boys. Since losing Paul, Lisa has made it her mission for her husband to be remembered. Paul's unexpected death has given me purpose. She travels to different precincts thanking officers for what they do. And on race day, decked out in NYPD gear, Paul was right there too. Her bib number, a combination of her husband's precinct and shield numbers. On her leg, a message of support. Never alone, never forgotten. Those words, a reminder that a fallen officer's family is always cared for by the team in blue. And much like the race itself, must keep moving forward. They're the ones that give me the strength to keep going every single day, to fight the fight, to push through this awful hand of, of cards that we've been dealt and to teach my children we don't back down. We don't give up and we keep fighting.